As I mentioned in an earlier video, the solid by extrusion tool allows you to spin the extrusion at a set angle. The resulting spin is generated by straight lines connecting the key points of the extruded element, which in turn generate curved surfaces between the key point lines. Now at first sight the shaded image looks like the extrusion has curved around the spin angle, but this is an illusion. Let me show you what I mean. This is an extrusion, so I'm going to start with the place block tool and place a small block here. And then start the extrude tool. I'm leaving orthogonal on, taking distance off, both directions off. Scale can stay at one. Spin angle, let's make that 90 degrees. We'll start with that. Those two can be off. So now I need to select this profile. And I need to be careful which point I use to start the extrusion. I'm going to select the center. So I need the center snap. So let's do F11 and C at the keyboard for center. And there's my center. So I'll data point to accept that and drag upwards. And you see that the top surface is twisting 90 degrees. Let's pop it into place. Let's look at it shaded. Let's rotate. And you'll see that the top surface has rotated by 90 degrees and the lines that connect the corners have apparently twisted around. But if you look very carefully, those lines are actually straight and you get the illusion of a curved surface. Now that's interesting, but this doesn't look that great. So let's change how we see this. I'm going to go to the display style list. So I'm going to click and hold on that, which pops out the different methods of displaying my elements. I'm going to choose transparent and shadows. The screen turns white and I'd see my object a little better. And it is transparent so I can see inside the far edges. And we do see these lines here which indicate how the element has been twisted. Let's change it again. Let's try a different one. Let's try something like illustration and we'll just use the default. Illustration adds dark emphasis to the edges of the object. And again, we can see a little clearer how this twisting motion is achieved. Now, I'd like you to practice a little bit with this. I'm going to go back to my original display, which was wireframe. And I'm going to undo it. And I want you to practice the same thing. This time, select different locations for the start of the extrusion and just see what effects you get. And then you'll realize why I selected the center of that rectangle for the start of the extrusion.